Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading two episodes one and two of season two of Minami K. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Why is kind of walking like that? <laughs> and Chiaki with the best walk. Runway walk, baby. There he is. <laughs> Fucking idiot. A hot spring, nice. And you telling her to get back here within 15 minutes. That's going to take more than 15 minutes, dum dum. Oh. I mean, that must be that good since uh, how many are open? Damn. Maybe so he can spend time with you guys? Damn. Right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. Hey, you two.
<laughs> Chiaki wants you to do it, babe. Poor baby. Oh, kitty. No, she's looking for her notebook. Your cycle. Why'd you just be Kana? Oh, there it is! Hell, y'all making me hungry. I haven't eaten. The last thing I ate was three white Reese's.
does everybody even have enough money to go? Exactly. Keep your mouth shut, girl. Dang. <laughs> like that one person who literally you tell them something in private they just bring it up randomly be like oh yeah or like they're really pissed oh at least I wasn't doing this you be like dang shut up Right? That would be the best thing to do. Yeah, how is that going to work? Well, dang, we just asking what right off the bat, but okay.
Who gonna go out in the cold? Uh, unfortunately, a little bit of Hanukkah is bad at reading maps. Alright, so if you're lost, just turn around and go back. You tried your best, Haruka. Don't be upset. Will you two hurry up and just figure this ish out? These two are never going to have a chance to take a bath. <laughs> Same thing. Permission to hit her. <laughs> I, I know. Just get it over and done with. Yes. Good luck. Oh my god! Oh, no, 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 no. He's figuring it out.
Oh, God. <laughs> I love how she just dove back in. Poor baby, he, he's never going to get a chance to take a bath. I feel so bad for him. Oh. Why didn't she call her back and be like, no, hey, I'm going to a hot spring, stay home. Kana. Kana. Once again, Kana, I, I don't even know what to say about that child. I mean, girl, she be the one doing the most, doing the most, and the, and the Chiaki is the one who's like, you know what, like, I'm about to oof this girl. Like, <laughs> how you forget to tell your friend that you are leaving, you're going somewhere, she came all the way back from her grandma's to see you. I don't even know what to say. But no, this first episode was really good. I, I love the upgrade and the art style, especially. I mean, as much as I loved the season one's art style, that was really unique. I mean, every single different type of art style is always unique regardless and stuff. But yeah, I love how it looks more HD-ified. The... Okay. <laughs> well, um, the audio is going ba faster than the visual. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, because there's the King Records part. Uh, okay. That, that's something. But yeah, 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 yeah. Um. As I was saying, the, the visuals are very, very, like, hd -ified. They really took whatever they had and initially just got a really good, nice, clean upgrade on it. I'm not mad at that. That's really good. It just, like, uh, almost still gives you the somewhat certain of Ozzy Mangadayo in a way when Ozzy Mangadayo got, like, a really good refresher and such. Uh, like I said, I do love the details of their hair, their eyes. They, like... In a way, both Chiaki and Haruka look more mature for their ages. Um, yeah, kind of does too, but if you look at Chiaki and Haruka and such, especially when there was a moment where you were, like, literally looking at the definition of Chiaki's long behind neck. Like, girl has some neck! Like, oh my god! I'm like, okay. But no, everybody really looks good in this new brand new art style and such. And so I cannot wait to see what the hell is going to happen next. But I feel bad for, you know, Makoto and, of course, <laughs> our other Minami, who is pretending to be the brother and shit. I feel so bad for him, for her, because literally all they both wanted to do was just to take a bath. Because since one is pretending to be a female and another one's pretending a male, that is like the biggest thing. But <laughs> regardless. It's still going to be complicated as fuck. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go.
Okay. <laughs> no. Right? Yeah, it was really nice. Student exchange? I mean, the classroom looked more like a dang college room. That upgrade, upgrade, I'm just telling you. But that's too much on her, though. Yeah, she was a banjo, but we don't want to talk about that anymore. Great. No. Yeah. It's a little cutie, though. Damn. <laughs> Look at him. No, he... No. 
needs vegetables, like lettuce or nuts. Look at him. Oh my god, look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> I still feel bad for Ujida literally being left at her at their apartment building. No one, no, not Haruka, Kana, or Chiaki. None of them called her and be like, oh, hey, we're not home. They all looking at her. Oh. This is a hamster! Her, her eyes got hella big and I love it. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of packages. My mom on Amazon. Or even me on Amazon. There's no way that you can pay. Well, actually, yeah, you can if you're just a fast eater.
<laughs> okay. Oh my god, Kana, no, it's not about that. It could literally be her about being on the student council and taking a lot more responsibility on. You! Yeah, you don't remember? Excuse me? Not really. Right? I mean, it would make the most sense for her to obviously be the next Bonjo, you know? Generation and sisters. Hosaka, why don't you just talk to her? Damn! Like, yeah. Why are you always tripping? I mean, we we talked about this in the first season, but bruh. I'm playing bottle shrimp.
I mean, she already was one. She ready to go. <laughs> It's okay. Did you find someone else? No, it was just a class rep. <laughs> you get that, babe. So deserve that. No, not anymore. Once again, on how quickly Kana can just change her mother effing mind due to something like of an issue. Like, I get it. Yes, Annika would have been a really good class rep and such. Maybe if they had established this from the get go and not to the point where somebody was sick and such. But still, I think Hanukkah would have been a damn good freaking class rep. But because Hanukkah is so busy with not only school. And then coming home to take care of her little sisters and cleaning after them and also doing homework when she comes home. She already multitasking. I don't think she can multitask any other stuff because then she's coming home even later in the night and you just feel bad for her. And you don't want that. 
don't think anybody wants that for her. Like, she precious baby. She deserves to be happy and, like, literally to have a break. But it seems like that's not in the cards for her because she's always freaking busy. Plus, homeboy who wants to get with her still, once again, always stripping. Always stripping. I cannot wait to see, you know, his inner monologues and thoughts and everything all over again like he did in season one. <laughs> Because that ish, <laughs> it it was ridiculous at some points, but it made sense. Oh, it's doing it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, the three of them got stuck in the <laughs> it, it does make me wonder, with the rest of this, is this, especially with the end of it, is it always going to be the audio ahead of the visuals? Because, I, I mean, like, I, I was thinking that was just a one little mistake, but now it's already in episode two as well. It, it seems a little weird, but I get it. it it's a somewhat of an issue, but it's okay. That's not going to really piss me off. That's like one little minor problem that can easily be fixed, but I'm guessing due to the copies that I have for the whole entire series I have for it, maybe it might be like that, but it's okay. I mean, it, it's funny because we go, because like at the end of episode one, I was thinking it was like a fun bag thing, but no, it was just a talking moment in the preview for episode two, and then you're hearing other things, you're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> I really do hope that we get, like, more backstory on Hanukkah being a banjo. We got that in, like, the first season, and I would love to see more, especially, like, her being in middle school and how much, like, mm, I, I wouldn't say fun or how much of an enjoyment it was. It probably was for her, even though, you know, um, misunderstandings and such. But, yeah, 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 yeah. And this also tells you the lesson of Kana, Chiaki, anytime when your sister is on the phone and you hear her talk about ish, don't automatically assume it is about that. It could literally be about something dead behind different and such. Do not ever assume because one of y'all looks like a dum dum, aka Kana. That's why Kana always get her butt kicked by my younger sister. <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> that is where we actually be towards episodes one and two of season two of Minami K. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next, um, today is Thursday. So, not today. Uh, next Monday for everybody else and next Saturday for Patreons for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.